The Young and the Restless Recap, Friday, August 18, Diane's Postnup, Ashley Suspects Tucker Cheating, Runaway Connor. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Recap for Friday, August 18, reveals that Adam Newman will run into Sally Spectra in the park and wonder when she starts her new position. Sally will confess that Victor Newman pulled the plug on the design division and will insist it's because of Adam Newman's feud with Nick Newman. Now Victor plans to devote all his time to keeping the Newman brothers in line. After Sally admits to feeling like part of some larger plan, she'll point out that Victor clearly doesn't see the need to keep an eye on her any longer. Adam will once again offer Sally a job, but she'll turn him down and act like she'll land on her feet like she always does. At Crimson Lights, Billy Abbott will find Chelsea Lawson struggling to get a moody Connor Newman to talk to her. Once Chelsea steps away, Billy will get Connor to talk about his nightmares and how he doesn't have any friends at school. Although Billy will point out Connor could go somewhere besides Walnut Grove, Connor will still feel like he's going to be the weird kid with the disturbed mom and dad who always gets into trouble. R.E.A.D.I.S. Find out what happens next on Young and Restless. When Connor mentions what happens when he defends Chelsea and Adam, Billy will realize he's being bullied. Connor won't want to open up to Chelsea out of fear that she'll go back to how she used to be. By Billy will offer reassurance. Once Connor goes up to the apartment to rest, Billy will give Chelsea updates on their conversation and leave her concerned. Chelsea will get a call from Anita Lawson, who will reveal that Connor just got in touch and asked if he could come stay with her. After Chelsea heads upstairs to get Connor's side of the story, she'll be alarmed to find that he's gone. Chelsea will rush back down to Billy with the news and will mention that Connor took his backpack along with some clothes. Once Chelsea frantically calls around, looking for runaway Connor, Adam will show up and assure Chelsea that they're going to find him. Chance Chancellor will also get involved and note that Connor wasn't at the bus station. Back in the park, Sally will spot Connor, will claim he's just going to a friend's house. Connor will express his condolences over the baby before Sally asks him to buy a couple water bottles from a nearby kiosk. That'll give Sally a chance to call Adam, so she'll plan to talk Connor into coming with her to the coffee house. After hanging up, Sally will get Connor to admit he was running away, so she'll mention doing that more than once herself over the years. Sally will also reflect on how hard it was to open up about losing the baby at first, but she'll get Connor to see that talking really does help. At Crimson Lights again, Sally will reunite Connor with Chelsea and Adam. Connor will ultimately admit he hates this town and wants to go to school near Grandma Anita. Please don't make me stay, Connor will plead on Friday's I and R episode. At the Abbott estate, Diane Jenkins Abbott will have a surprise for Jack Abbott over breakfast outside. Jack will realize it's a post-nuptial agreement that Diane had Michael Baldwin take care of for her. Although Jack will want to rip it up since he trusts Diane completely, she'll want to prove she's in this marriage for the right reasons. Jack will continue to protest since he doesn't need that proof, but Diane will talk about how hard it is dealing with all the doubters. Diane will know she's earned those doubts, but she'll also hope this might shut people up, especially Ashley Abbott. Jack won't be so sure it'll work with Ashley, but he'll reluctantly sign the postnup and take a picture of it with his phone. Once Jack sends that pic to Ashley, he'll share a toast with Diane and remain skeptical about her dream of family peace. However, Jack will take a moment to celebrate his two-week anniversary with Diane as they enjoy their love. In their suite at the GCAC, Tucker McCall will wake up and find that Ashley seems distraught. Ashley will get emotional as she admits she made a mistake and will demand to know where Tucker went last night. After Ashley admits she knows Tucker went to Audra Charles' room, it'll be obvious that she suspects her new husband cheated. Tucker will assure Ashley that Kyle Abbott was in the room the whole time and invite her to call him for confirmation. 
That'll calm Ashley down enough to hear Tucker's version of events, so he'll explain the whole ugly blackmail story and how it's been handled. Ashley will believe Tucker, but she'll wonder if he ever would have told her if she hadn't asked. Tucker will insist that he would have, but the timing wasn't right since he didn't want anything to spoil their wedding. Ashley will accept that Tucker was trying to protect her and their venture, so they'll patch things up. Once Ashley receives the post-nup pic, she'll push Tucker to look it over for loopholes. Tucker will eventually suggest they should move out of the Abbott house, so Ashley will get on board with that plan. Back at the Abbott mansion, Tucker and Ashley will indeed announce that they're moving out. Ashley will also assume Jack had a hard time convincing Diane to sign the postnup, but Diane will insist it was her idea. Once Tucker's alone with Ashley, he'll admit he believes Diane and will think it might be time to accept that she genuinely loves Jack. Ashley won't seem as willing to believe that and let this feud go. The young and the restless spoilers say some surprises are still to come for Ashley, so stay tuned to see what's in store. CDL's Where You Want to Be for Exciting Young and the Restless Spoilers, updates and news, so make us your favorite Y and our hotspot. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more update news.